I'm a modeler. I create information models. I figure out all the stuff that we've been talking about. And in the end, what do I give back? What do I give to my boss? What do I do? I give my boss what's called a schema. And so you see here a picture of a schema. It's got a bunch of different tables and a bunch of different lines. You can think of each of those tables as a type of information and each of the lines being a relationship between those types of information and each of the little things inside the box being one attribute of that type. So we have types in the different tables, the different squares. We have attributes inside the tables, inside the little lines inside the tables. We don't show the attribute values here. I mean, excuse me, we don't show the attribute value patterns here um, because it's too much detail for this diagram. But we do show the relationships from one type to another. So that's what the overall big picture is. And a little bit later when we talk about World of Warcraft and, uh, and the information model behind World of Warcraft and behind all the, um, uh, and behind all the information types in, in World of Warcraft, I'll show you a Mondo schema. This is a little schema. This, you know, this schema is microscopic. This would be a very small project. Real, real schemas have, can literally have hundreds of tables in them and they take an entire wall to show all the different types of information and all the different relationships between them. So the deliverable is a schema. You're a modeler. When you're finished with your model, you deliver it as a schema. That schema is a structure of a database where we can store all the information for this system.